Hi guys, I'm just getting ready to flat iron my hair. Well, I've already flat ironed half of it, but I am gonna go in and show you a little behind the scenes. I am using the Pink Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. I'm just applying that to my hair. And then I am going to go in with the Silk Elements Coconut Hair Protection Spray. So I spray that on my hair and then I will be flat ironing it as well. But yeah, I just thought I would show you the little behind the scenes before we actually film the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing a little pop of color. I think I'm gonna do some black smoky shadow in the corner of my eye and pop it off with some gold in the front of my eyelid. I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge today. I'm gonna put my foundation on with a beauty sponge instead of a brush. I'm gonna do it a little bit old school today. So if this is your type of content, feel free, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Concealer. I do have the shade 21 Dark. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with that. I love this concealer. I rediscovered it and I've been using it here lately. So, And then I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just gonna blend in the eye primer or the concealer. I hope everybody is doing well. I really like this concealer. It blends in like a dream. I really, really like it. And I just washed all of my makeup brushes, so that makes it even better. The way that I apply my foundation, I'm doing that old school today. So that'd be the foundation, the concealer, and the setting powder, so. But I'm gonna mix it up some. I'm even going to do cream bronzer. And I don't really do that stuff, but we're gonna try it out today and see what happens. I'm gonna use the Starlet Palette by Profusion. Um, they always have beautiful shadows here. So this is the shadow palette here. And I am just going to apply a brown color here and just use that for my transition. I really need to do my eyebrows. Sometimes I go to my stylist and she'll do them for me, but I haven't done them in a while. I really need to do them, so. I only get my brows done like maybe once every three months or something like that, but I really need to do them again. And if you guys are looking for affordable eyeshadow palettes, uh, Profusion, Elf, those are where it's at. Um, them are some very nice eyeshadow palettes. I really like them. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I've been forgetting here lately to set my face in the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm using the e.l.f. Micro Stay on my Micro Fine Setting Mist. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. I really love this stuff. This stuff smells so good. And I'm gonna go in with the primer. This is the Catrice Poreless Blur Primer, one of my favorites here. Haven't used it in a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and show it some love. And again, you just wanna dab in your primer if you have large pores like myself. Just dab it in. And my skin has been going through it here lately. I don't know what's going on, but it's going through it. I sometimes wonder if I'm getting ready to go through pre-menopause or what they call it, perimenopause. I've been thinking maybe that's what I'm about to be starting. I have no idea, but my skin is going through it. I am 44, so I just turned 44, so maybe it's that time. I have no idea. 
So what I'm gonna do, I am going to bring out the Big Ego palette. This is by Tarte. I am going to use probably some of the browns. Like I'm gonna take another brown shade in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna dip into Authentic and Unbreakable, which is the darker brown colors. And I'm gonna apply that on the edge of my eye. And I like Tarte's eyeshadow palette. It's very pigmented. And the color story is very pretty too. I don't think I have a um, Tarte concealer. I know that I have like some wand thing, like a serum or something, but I don't have the concealer. I'm gonna have to try out their Shape Tape Concealer. I've never tried it before. Okay, so this is very pigmented. And I'm just gonna do the next eye here. All right, so now that that shade is down, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a clean blending brush here and I'm just gonna blend out the edges here. All right, so now that the edges are blended, I'm gonna go ahead in with that Own It color that I was just telling you about. And I'm just gonna apply it at the edge of my eye here. And I'm really gonna try and build it up here. So if you see that you're putting on your eyeshadow and it becomes choppy, looks like it's like spreading apart or breaking up some, then just tap it in. I've been noticing I'm having to do with that on certain eyeshadow palettes, so. But yeah, I'm gonna bring it, you know, build it up a lot right here. And I'm, a, I'm gonna, I can't even talk today. I'm going to apply lashes as well. Okay, that's a very pretty color. I like this color as well. I don't know, I think black is like really sexy on your eyes. It just like really makes your eyes pop. That's what I think, especially on brown eyes. My my eyes look like they're almost black. But I mean like looking in the mirror, like in the lights and stuff, I know they're dark brown, but sometimes far away they look almost black. I got some really dark brown eyes. So now that that shadow is on, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some e.l.f. eye tapes. I'm gonna put them on, I'm gonna draw a wing. I'm gonna do a wing liner. And then I'm gonna apply the gold a shimmer on the front of my eyelid. Hopefully these are even and hopefully my wing liner comes out even as well. We shall see. So I am taking my big fat liner. I love this bad boy right here. I'm taking my big fat liner and I'm going to do a wing liner. I'm going to do a wing liner. I'm going to do a wing. I can't talk today. You can tell I haven't filmed in a few days, huh? I like this liner because it's smooth and easy. It's like you know, it just glides on your eye. So that's why I like this liner. And it's kind of thick too, so. And I did learn a little trick for lashes. If you have larger eyes like myself, um, I did watch a YouTube tutorial and they did like a little trick to get your, you know, eye like diamond shaped, like a cat eye kind of with lashes. So I'm gonna try that out today and see if it works for me, so. I believe I was watching Aaliyah J. That's who I was watching. I love that girl. Again, I always start my eyeliner in the middle. So I go in the middle and work my way out and then bring it back in. That's just what works for me. Do what works for you. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes. So today I'm going to use the Kiss Uncovered Collection, the Dewy Lashes. So I'm gonna put these on. I feel like it would be perfect for the look. So I'm gonna apply these off camera and I'll be right back. The lashes are on. I don't know if I did that cat eye effect or not. I don't see it here. Practice makes perfect, so that'll probably be something that I have to practice with. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead in. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. Today I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear for up to 24 hours. I'm in the shade 505, and we're gonna go ahead and apply this on today. Let me shake it up. It's been a minute, so I'm gonna have to shake it up. And I'm just gonna apply a couple pumps on the back of my hand. I don't even think you really need a couple pumps. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead in with my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge. I love this bad boy here. It's been a minute, so I'll go ahead and apply that on here. This is like perfect, like the perfect shade. I used to wear this uh, foundation all the time. I remember when it first came out, I was always wearing it. I'd wear it, people be at work, they'd be like, Jennifer, your face is beat. I'm like, yeah, like, it looks so pretty. 
It's buildable. So this foundation is buildable. And I'm gonna do one more pump. Um, seems like my son, my son, it seems like my sponge soaked it up. So. so that is one of the things that I don't miss with a sponge, but I do like applying with a sponge every now and then. Sometimes I feel the sponge gives you more, you know, full coverage than the brush. Although I know the brush does wonders too, but sometimes I feel like your makeup looks a little bit cakey with a brush, but I guess it's either way you go. I guess it really doesn't even matter. Sometimes the sponge seems like it just makes everything look more smoother. So, and I always go in with a damp sponge. I don't really see the effect. I see that like if you use like a, dry sponge i do notice that sometimes your makeup does look a little bit cakey because the sponge isn't wet but do it works for you i just noticed that on my skin but yeah i really like this shade and i really like this formula all right and then for concealer i'm gonna go back in with the concealer that i set my eyelids with and again that's the dose of colors concealer and i have the shade 21 and that's in dark So there's my concealer. I'm gonna cover up a couple spots here. Like I said, my face has been going through it. So. All right, so we're just gonna let that concealer sit in for a few minutes and then we'll come back and blend that out. All right, so now that the concealer has set in, we're gonna go ahead and blend it out with the beauty sponge again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. And I just, I sometimes take my concealer and just put it like, you know, up on my forehead and my chin and like blemishes. And that's about it really. That's the one thing I like with the sponge. It like smooths it out, so. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do some cream contour. And today I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have the Mink Contour Stick. So, I'm gonna see how this does. It's cool tone, as you can tell. I'm just gonna put a line here, a line here. Just above my... All right. All right, so I'm just gonna take me a brush and blend it out. And it blends right in the skin. Okay, not bad. I don't know if I really notice a difference, but not bad at all. I guess your face is more sculpted whenever you contour. Let me go ahead in with the cream blush. And I'm going in with the TYS Beauty Cream Blush. And this one is in Splash. So I believe this is the one that is really pigmented. I really do like this color too. And you just need a dot, nothing more than that. So I'm just gonna put a dot there and a dot there. And I'm going to blend this out. You see, you see how pigmented that is? but it's a beautiful color. You can definitely tone it down. Like if this isn't what you want, you can definitely tone it down. Beautiful. I like it though. I think it's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the next side here. So we're gonna go ahead in and set the face and I am using the Danessa Myricks Beauty Translucent Powder. I have mine in the shell, in the shell. I have mine in the shade yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I really like this powder. I got it in a BoxyCharm. Another reason why I like BoxyCharm is you guys know. Um, but yeah, I really like the shade here. All right, so I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend out the creases under my eyes. And then 
immediately set with the setting powder. So you can see the difference. That set, this one is, and as you can see the creasing under this one here. I just love how fine it is. I'm looking forward to trying more of their products as well. I'm gonna look them up online and try some of their products as well. Probably order me some. All right, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna go ahead and set the face with the translucent powder. I really, really like that powder. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and line my under eyes um, with my eyeliner. I'm using my LA Girl Gel Glide Eyeliner. I'm going to do my bronzer and I'm going to use my Cop Cosmetics bronzer palette here. And I am just going to mix the bottom row here. So I'm just gonna mix the bottom row. And then the blush, I'm gonna use the Beauty in a Blink palette. And I'm going to use the top row here. So I'm just gonna use the top row, probably these last three shades here. And this palette is very pigmented as well, as you can tell, I really like this too. And it only just takes a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlighter. And for highlighter, I think I'm gonna go in with this bronzy color here and apply that to my cheeks. And I'm actually gonna dip my brush here. I'm gonna dip my brush and spray it. I just think the bronzy color goes perfectly with the shirt that I'm wearing, so. I'm sure you guys can see that here. drill I'm putting it above my near my eyebrow bone my brow bone my eyebrow bone you know what I mean all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on I am using the elf big mood waterproof mascara so I'm gonna use that today on my lower lashes I really like this mascara too it's very pigmented very black too very very pretty I'm gonna go back into this um, big ego palette and there's a shade down here. It's a, it's a sparkling black color right here. It's a shimmer and it's called Determined. I'm gonna put that at the corner of my eyelid here. And I'm just gonna take a little Moda Beauty Brush. Oh, it says it's a line, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it anyway at the edge of my eye here. That just brought the look together just a little bit more. It is so pigmented. It's so pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. That just brought the look even more. I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm going to take this Starlet palette, this Starlet palette here. I can't talk. It's a tongue twister. And I'm just going to apply some glitter in the front of my eye because I said I was going to pop it with some gold and the black. So we're going to do that. Well, I'm going to dip and spray. All right. Let's see, y'all. Let's see what happens. We're gonna go in with the finger. That sounds so funny. All right, so I'm just gonna use my finger and apply it on the lid. Oh, this is pretty, y'all, look. I like, look at that, okay? And I'm not even going nowhere, that's the sad part. Beautiful, that's gorge. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yes. All right, let's do the next side here. Dip and spray. I mean, come on. 
okay that is so pretty even i like this okay so now what we're gonna do let me wipe my finger off because i got glitter all over it um, but i'm going to line my lower lash line uh, with the black color and then i'm going to do my lips and set my face and we should be almost yeah we should be almost finished with this video i'm gonna take some black shadow the one that has i don't know if i want to do the glitter underneath my eyes or not but i'm gonna take the black shadow here i'm gonna do it anyway um, i'm just gonna mix um this black shadow here and this color here and just line it across my lower lash line so i'm just gonna use the elf cream glide lip liner it's a tongue twister i'm gonna use that i'm just gonna line my lips here and I don't have a red lip liner, that's why I'm using this darker color here. But I always have to have a gloss on, regardless if it's just like, even if I'm doing my lips and stuff, I have to have some type of gloss on, otherwise my lips are dry as I don't know what. So there's the lip liner. And you guys, look at this lipstick. You know, I don't be doing no red like that, but we're going to put it on. This is e.l.f. and this is in Cherry. I know it's one of their new lipsticks they released. Um, kind of nervous, but we're going to go ahead and put it on for the video. Again, I don't have a red lip liner, so I do apologize. That is too pretty. I like that. All right, guys, this completes the look. I really like how it turned out. I was kind of nervous on how it was gonna look, you know, with the dark eyeshadow and everything. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta show your old products some love too. But yeah, I really like how it looks. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.